have been on the table. From, from where I sit, from where I sit, I know Deputy President William Ruto has not promised anybody anything. And the decision is his. And I can assure you, whatever decision he makes, it will get full backing of all of us. You know, all of us will back that decision. The only thing William Ruto has promised us, and where there can be a problem, and I want to put it here on national television, are economic programs. All right. The issue of guaranteed minimum return for our coffee, tea, milk, mira, and rice. That is a promise that he has given us, and that is only where we can have a disagreement. Okay. The uh, issue of the Ashara fund for us most traders. Let, let, let's not even uh, go there. I just want to probe that a little bit. Yes. Because it sounds to me that uh, also within uh, Kenya Kwanzaa, the deputy president holds sway in everything. What then is the essence of having Musale Mudavadi and also uh, uh, Moses Wetangula with this particular alliance if at the end of the day he's the one who holds no, the not, card? Not. Is there, is all, there any consultations? All, all matters are discussed. Matters of the economy, matters of the but, but what he, we need to do. The, so the issue of, to choose the the, issue the, of the, running meat is his. That person who deputize him, he will not deputize the coalition. He will deputize the president. And you must leave it to him. You must not allow some busy bodies to come and give him somebody they cannot work together. This thing of Azimio cannot work. You see, the, 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 the agreement in Azimio, and we are private, we are private. You know, in Uhuru State House, are people we worked with when we were working for him. Everywhere there are people we worked with. We are private. The decision is as Mio is a rider, is a presidential candidate. The running mate belongs to Jubilee. President Uhuru Kenyatta will make the decision. In fact, I have said on this show, and the man saw you did to tell the Honorable Kalonzo Musioka to forget about these interviews. Go and lobby President Uhuru Kenyatta. Right. That is the man who will Thank make you. the decision on what the president is trying to do is run away from the responsibility. He'll make the decision, but he wants to hide under this committee so that the backlash is not attributed to him as a person. Right. Uh, Honorable uh, Dan Manza, I want us just to wind up on, uh, of course, this discussion of the Deputy President. We focus on other matters as well. But I wanted to know, because you've had Mutula Kilonzo saying that Kuta, 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 Kita Umana, <laughs> yes. right? If Kalonzo is not the Deputy President, Kuta Umana. What does Kuta Umana really insinuate at the end of the day? Um, is he going to run uh, solo as a presidential candidate? Because you've indicated you're not join, joining uh, Azimio at the end of the day. But given what Ga Gashago is saying, Kalonzo is sometimes very indecisive. You might just end up also joining uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. No, we... And you've been pushing the envelope for him to join Kenya Kwanzaa. No, you? I haven't. You've never? Uh, no. Uh, and have reasons. Uh, but you've been on this to... show be before, and uh, Otene can actually allude to that particular fact, and even uh, Aaron Cheriot, that you said that if he will not be the deputy president, there will be a protest vote, uh, uh, protest vote in uh, Ukambani. No, and said, people will say yes. that's the feeling on the ground. That, that, is the, that, that is, does not mean that he has uh, pushed is, it yourself. It's a likelihood. Is yeah. a very, no, you, you, why are you holding it? <laughs> here, no, because right? I can see you have teamed up with Otiende. <laughs> no, no. But I'm asking you. Why are you answering for him? He's clearly at the seat. Are you appointed to his lawyer? You know, there is an automatic course of things and uh, natural consequences. It is clear that uh, uh, there is every design that uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka does not become the, uh, the automatic running mate of Honorable Raila Odinga. And um, there are consequences to that. My position has been uh, the moment you are, we are not happy or satisfied with the way things are going in terms of uh, uh, utmost good faith, because Honorable Kalonzo Musioka acted with utmost good faith upon consultation, uh, you know, under the three-legged uh, theory, whereby you have uh, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, the President of the Republic, as their chair, uh, Honorable Raila Odinga as uh, the presidential candidate, and uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, uh, the third biggest party as a deputy. The moment that is changed, uh, the moment you break one of the legs of a three traditional three-legged stool, then the stool can no longer stand. And uh, the obvious thing is that uh, the moment Honorable Kalonzo Musoka is not a uh, running mate, uh, obviously uh, he, there must be consequences and he must uh, do his best. 
Uh, I really thank God for the 2010 constitution. And because that yet is so clear. And I'm very sure no court can deny Honorable Kalonzo Musoka this. Uh, the political rights <coughs> cannot be censored by some fraudulent agreements or, or, or agreements which have been negotiated uh, not fully from the heart and, uh, and uh, with mischief. Uh, and therefore, the moment you can be able to prove that in a court of law, I believe uh, we have enough time still to run the Honorable Kalonzo Musoka as a presidential candidate. Uh, I, I don't think, uh, uh, if, you go, if you go to court and have experience on this, the court is able to adjust the timelines set by uh, IBC. By IBC. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's, uh, there's no way we can say we are locked up and we have no rights. And, uh, but why should you extend the timelines? Uh, you're given two weeks more by IBC. No, I'm saying, even for presentation of paperwork okay. or for or presidential country. I mean, it's there in the constitution. It's guaranteed by the constitution. And that's the good thing about this constitution. It makes sure that there's no dictatorship. There are no games. There are no lies. And, and every, it sets every Kenyan free for there to be justice in this country and uh, to regulate the mannerism of men uh, when they want to take advantage of the other. So, and I'm very sure that uh, uh, the, the natural course of things, it is very clear to my mind, and I, I don't know what Honorable Otien model things together with a, a good friend, Junet Mohammed, um, they, are, they know, no Kalonzo, no Raila. So whatever they are pushing, is for Raila Odinga not to become president of this country. And, uh, and I believe that's a reality. It is clear now, Honorable Raila Odinga no longer wants to be the president of the country. Mm -hmm. yes. Very interesting, Otene uh, uh, Amolo. We're even looking at Taifa Leo on your screen there, <laughs> Raila Akabuako. <laughs> and they, they have a very interesting also picture there of Raila. I don't know if uh, Raila was... Uh, uh, this was not uh, Santa Claus. I no, mean, that should, was should, Legio Maria, Legio Maria, which is a very popular yeah. uh, denomination for, uh, in our area. Uh, it, uh, it's an offshoot of the Catholic Church. So that was one of those occasions when Raila went to pray in Legio Maria because Raila, like I, believe in prayers, unlike others who go to churches <laughs> you know, to donate money and get votes. Having said that, let me come back. Let me start from where Mahanzo has left. <laughs> Stephen Kalonzo Musioka is an experienced politician <coughs> and a senior counsel like me. I must urge him not to take the legal advice of my friend Dan Mahanzo and others who think like him because they will mislead him. And so far they've misled him, not for his benefit but for their own benefit. First of all, given the, uh, the timelines in the law, no one can exit any formation right now and declare that they want to either be president or they want to be governor or they want to be all those things. It is vain legally, mm -hmm. given the timelines. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what my friend Dan Manzo here is saying because it is not possible. Okay? You can say it, whatever you want to say, like yesterday Alfred Mutua said, but it's legally inconsequential. That is a fact. But secondly, let me start from the promise, and I'm intrigued that my friend Aaron Cheriot, my friend Rigati Gachang, are the ones who appear to know what was promised in Azimio more than us. That speaks volumes, you know? And it worries me. <laughs> it worries me that they purport to know what was promised, what happened, more than us. And I want to say that all that they've said is not true. Because I was there. I was there even at the material day. Uh, I was there in State House. I was there when it was being signed. The issue of my brother Kalonzo Musioka being deputy president was never on the table. And it is not what caused any delay. What caused the delay was the drafting of the coalition agreement, the deed of agreement of the coalition, and I was drafting it. And as I said before, that even the lawyers from WIPA were there, at least three of them, I don't have to name them here, okay? The only two issues that were needed to be settled on, first was the name of the coalition. <laughs> should it remain Azimio Laumoja, or should it be Azimio 
la umoja one kenya alliance that was a huge issue the second issue was the composition of the council because in azimio the council is the ultimate body that makes decision so that even all these issues like uh, you know mutua was speaking about like my brother is speaking about all those things would have to be brought to the council it is until and unless the council makes a decision it is not decided yet the issue like uh, and i keep hearing this statement like manzo has just said three legged stool i don't know what it was never there there's no there are no stools <laughs> in that agreement there's nothing like three legged stools it's a, a deed of agreement of the coalition that specifies everything and specifies the various organs the top organ being the council if ever there was such an issue Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka would have spoken about it in KICC or he would have spoken about it when we went to Eastland mm -hmm. for the rally but there was no such issue so let's just not uh, get there but I want to come back to the issue of interviews you know the question of the interviews it's an issue of tyranny versus democracy in a tyrannical regime, you do what Rigadi and Cheruyota are saying. You say, it is up to so and so. That is tyranny. In a democratic regime, you constitute a body that then engages with others and recommends on the basis of merit who ought to be considered. So right now, the contest we have is that the tyranny in one Kenya alliance was the democracy in Azimio. That's why they cannot talk about one Kenya alliance, mm -hmm. and we are spending all the time talking about Azimio because we are in a democratic regime. In a democratic regime, you have people interview you. And it's not a question of juniors. Look, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya is interviewed by the Judicial Service Commission. Mm -hmm. Usually the Judicial Service Commission are composed of judges and non-judges. But whoever is recommended to be the Chief Justice becomes their boss. So it's not a question of the rank of the people interviewing you. It is a question of democracy. That's just neither here nor there. But I want us to focus now a little bit on this one Kenya alliance and their falsities. First of all, uh, I am told, was it yesterday or today, that they're de uh, depositing something called uh, you know, uh, an alliance agreement or something like that. You know, they need to be called out. Since we amended the Political Parties Act, it provides for a coalition, coalition political party, mm -hmm. which Azimio is, One Kenya Alliance is not. If you are a coalition political party, then you are guided are you by... About One Kenya or Kenya Kwanzaa? Kenya Kwanzaa, sorry, Kenya yeah. Kwanzaa. Uh, you are then guided by the Act, okay? You are guided by the Act and you cannot uh, deviate from the Act. So for us in Azimio, Anyone who is an Azimio does not need anyone's assurance because you are guided by the law. Mm -hmm. But anyone in Kenya Kwanzaa must know that they are not under the law. They are under the mercy of William Samoy Ruto. Where they are is where we were in 2017 under NASA. Mm -hmm. Where we were in 2013 under COD. So all these things when they say, when, uh, you know, my friend uh, Musale Mudavadi says, Oh, we've, we've agreed that we'll share the government 30% each with, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, Musalia Mudavadi with uh, Moses Wetangula. And then the very next day, uh, William Ruto says now, uh, when he's in Bungoma, that the government will be shared by everyone else. They should know that William Ruto is right and they are wrong. Because there's nothing in law that binds them to anything like that. It does not matter what they have in that alliance agreement because it does not come under the law. It will depend on William Samoy Ruto. And let me tell you, you do not have to say that now uh, William Samoy Ruto has said we'll give him 30%. I don't know what. You need to look at history. When he had the opportunity to appoint people in 2013, in 2017, especially 2013, ask yourself, who did William Ruto appoint? A hundred percent were from his Kalenjin community. So what leads you to believe that now, and I sympathize with my brother Gashagwa here, unless he's named running mate, <laughs> beyond that, if he's not, I don't know, he will not get anything. 
Because once William Ruto is there, okay. if he were to be there, he will not honor any of those things because they are not founded in the law. It's the same and question I was asking. Secondly, with secondly, secondly, and I saw Musale Mudavadi, who is my friend, saying in, uh, I think in Kakamega, that now they've agreed they'll uh, share 30% executive, parliament, judiciary. You even mentioned the judiciary. The judiciary is an independent arm. It does not depend on who's in the presidency. Who's appointed a judge, whether Supreme Court all the way or a magistrate, does not depend on the person. So when you promise people and say things like that, it's a falsity. Lastly, Aaron Cheruyot should not come here and start lecturing us about, I don't know, democracy and all that. Alfred Keter and his my friend and yours, you guys did him he. You know, you know he won. He won, but only because he had the independence of mind to speak his mind, you had to deny him. And there are many who have been denied. You know? So don't start lecturing us on democracy and all those other things. You know, the tyranny and the lack of democracy in the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance is evident. But I want to warn everyone who is associating with Kenya Kwanzaa on the false belief that there's a document which will be honored. That document is not premised on the law. On the day, if ever that was to happen, and thank God it won't happen, if ever it was to happen, it will be thrown to the dustbin. Right. Uh, Dan Mazo, uh, 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 it's me. It's you. Yeah. But I wanted to, uh, just, just before, what uh, Otene Amolo was speaking, and I wanted just to, this is a question I was asking Rigathi, regarding, mm -hmm. you know, the One Kenya, uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Mm -hmm. Are they equal partners at the end of the day? Moses Zavetangula, uh, also Musali Mudavadi, and the Deputy President. Mm -hmm. Because also we've heard from uh, uh, the other side, especially mm -hmm. from the Western region, mm -hmm. ANC in particular, mm -hmm. saying that also UDA is playing the big brother syndrome especially when it comes uh, to the issue of uh, uh, the zoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they're playing the big brother syndrome. You know, this might just be muted, uh, you know, mamas that, uh, you know, are playing under underground right now that will come full blown, especially to what we are, we are calling uh, the, the deeds of agreement being deposited with the political, uh, the regional political parties at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So there is no law holding this particular alliance at that's, the end of the that's, day? That's not true. That's not true. You see what Otienda is doing? He is just playing with your mind and don't fall victim to his uh, uh, machinations. Because Otienda knows for a fact that uh, when we amended the Political Parties Act, we only gave an addition for the creation of a uh, coalition political party. But yes. It's not that we did away with the previously existing law that allowed there to be a coalition of political parties. That still is in, is, is in existence. It's the same law that they used to form NASA. It's the same law they used in 2013 to form CODE. And nothing has been done to scrap that away. That still is in, in existence. But, but, but Kenya the, Kwanzaa... Just, just a moment. A, yeah. just, I just need clarification because yeah. there has been this... Uh, it's a matter of semantics, but also very... Um, the input, I think, is very weighty at the end of the day. Uh -huh. Is it a coalition or an alliance? And, and what is the diametrically difference uh, when it comes to law and application by, by, uh, by, and by and large, party, yes. By and large, you know, an alliance, it, this is just about nomenclature between an alliance and a, uh, and a coalition. Because at the end of the day, uh, an alliance is what has become general uh, political talk when you, when you unite and uh, many political parties and say, okay, we formed an alliance of so and so and so and so and so. But in real uh, strict compliance with the law, as it is today, it's a coalition of various political parties. Many that uh, it began first with Fort Kenya and ANC, and later on, other, I think 13 or 15 political parties have joined. Many others are still uh, willing to join up to as late as, as yesterday. Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, and this is something that Otiende doesn't seem to understand, and I understand their struggle. You know, you remember when we had the debate in, in Parliament in December about uh, this coalition political party. And by the way, Azimio cannot be called a coalition of uh, coalition political party in strict, in strict uh, conformity with the law that we passed. Because if that was to be the case, then the rest of all these other political parties would have, co would have uh, collapsed. Mm -hmm. And this become uh, a single political party guided by one, one symbol, one political, lady, uh, one political party leader, 
one candidate in every every constituency that is not what uh, what really happened to the uh, jubilee party yes, yes that is not what uh, azimio is therefore he's not being uh, extremely truthful when he says azimio is a coalition political but party but you, you remember that was in jubilee began as a jubilee alliance yes that was in 2013 but in 2017 we transitioned into one single party that is what you can strictly uh, refer to as a coalition political party but this is the thing that we mentioned to Otienda and company when we were doing this law. And I said this uh, when we were on this show, that you see, the law is uh, simply ink on paper. Unless the people that are coming together have got the intention to be truthful to each other and an intention to work together that is purposeful, that is uh, guided by good reason and good sense, then it remains to be nothing. Remember, we have cited times without number that constitutionally, the deputy president is a principal assistant to the, to the president. He has functions that have been directed and even powers that have been given to him uh, by the constitution, including uh, being a member, say, of the National Security Council, chairing IBEC, you know, and one or two other things apart from uh, the kind of uh, powers that are donated to him constitutionally. That has not denied Uhuru Kenyatta the chance to frustrate and ensure that he is out of government, though he is in. So if you have a constitutionally established office like that of the deputy president being undermined, what is a guarantee that by an act of parliament you are able to secure those you come to political uh, marriage uh, with will follow through with what you ag uh, we agree? The point that I'm making is this, Dibal. It doesn't matter what the law states. If you can't make a good deal with a bad man because there's a good law, it is the reverse. It doesn't matter whether the law is good or bad. It is the kind of persons that you're agreeing mm. to. People have said no to the deception of Raila Odinga. People have said no to the deception of Uru Kenyatta. They both have a history of shortchanging their political partners. And that is the basis upon which this whole suckers and debate around coalitions and political parties was in parliament in December. It was a debate between men who, when you shake their hand and say, let's go and hunt. If we succeed, you will become this, I'll become the other. They keep their word. And those who, at every turn and opportunity, they want to shortchange you. Imagine the, the kind of fraud that is being visited on Wiper. The reason why Otienda will try to be lawyer here and place man, but the reason why you see Akina Manzo wanting to walk to the office of registrar uh, to demand for the coalition agreement that was signed is not that they don't have a copy. They have a copy, but they know the kind of fraudsters that they are dealing with, that there is information, incredible information, that the copy that was deposited is not what these guys signed at KICC. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. The laws we can debate here until the cows come back home about uh, what law was passed. Are you doing a good deal with a good man or you're doing a good deal with a fraudster? That is what it boils down o to. Otende, Otende, at Kenya Kwanza, Otende has been here. I want you just to ask him categorically if that particular uh, deed has been changed because he's been in the process from the beginning. How, how will Wiper know unless that information that they have been asking for is given to them? They are not fools. Dan Manzo is not a fool. Dan the Manzo, reason why that, you see them yeah, you've been together, Yeah, we've been together with the Tendomolo here. Ask him. Uh, he is he's just told he's been privy to actually this particular document from the beginning. Where has it changed? Yeah, and what do you know that Otene does not know? That, that document has been uh, revised several times. Yeah. Uh, and that's why, and you, you can see, all of Otene has just admitted here. Otene, has it been revised? <coughs> wait a minute. It, uh, everything was being put together. <laughs> no, but he has within, uh, within a day, within six hours, is when final documentation was being done. Uh, and uh, within, I can assure you, six my hours. Secretary General, Honorable, uh, my Secretary General, told me that there is a, 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 you know, one of the pages, you know, you are reading quickly now, be told, sign, sign. There's a page is not initial, because it didn't look like what is there. There's and a page is not initial. Otende is here, you can clarify. Because why do we talk like this thing has been happening? Otende is here. Let me respond to you and tell my friend Dan Manzo that do not belittle your party leader. I Stephen Kalanzo Musioka is not just a lawyer, but he's senior counsel. There's no way Stephen Kalonzo Musioka can get into an issue that he does not understand. And I've told you that there were no less than three lawyers representing Wiper Party. I want to admit that the final document, with the consent of all the parties, was adjusted only in two respects. In favor, actually, of Wiper. One was the name. The document we've signed, that was initially signed at KSCC, was 
azimio one uh, azimio la umoja but with the consensus of all the parties it was adjusted to azimio la umoja one kenya alliance that's in favor of wipa two the that council was, that that is what was reversed yes two the council was initially of seven people it was increased to 12 at the request of wiper those are the only adjustments Fantastic. so you cannot complain you, of adjustments you, that you, were made we, we in your favor i just wanted yes. to clarify that so uh, how <laughs> shall do are, are you no. are you happy is do? that true there is no such thing <laughs> You hear there's nothing, there was nothing, there's nothing there. like power sharing. If you have no power sharing, <laughs> then you have no deal. It was never there. So <laughs> you can't <laughs> introduce what was never there in the past. It was and not there. there. I and mean, therefore. it was not there initially at any time. And I've told you, I was at State House, I was at KICC, I was at the rally. The issue of power sharing, this three-legged stool, there must be a camber name for it. But it was <laughs> never there. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay let, let's come. No, no, no. I, I, let's come to Rigati. I think it will be unfair to Rigati as well. Just respond to this, uh, Rigati, because Alberemis also, and I want you to defend yourself, because uh, amongst what we're discussing to, today, uh, Otiende also positions you and poises you to be a very uh, you know, able uh, deputy president for, you know, uh, if we have William Ruto as a president, as you, to become the deputy president. But this issue uh, we have also on the front page of a daily nation, because you've been here saying, you know, also the government has been trying to witch hunt, use whatever manner of, uh, of claims they, they can to try and intimidate people. We have a very interesting uh, editorial uh, or the headline on the front page of a daily nation of the the undesirables. And your face is amongst some of the pictures that we have here today. If my director may just pick up that one. And uh, we have there, they say the undesirables, the, the face court case after, after court case, have integrity questions hanging over their heads. Some are even battling murder charges in court, while others have been impeached for impropriety and misuse of public funds. But this cast straight uh, from the playwright Victor Hugo's uh, Les Miserables. Uh, if um, I mean, my, my French is right, I think I can be helped here. He's gunning for elective post, and if it has its way, it will be on the ballot in August. Here, the personification of everything that's wrong with the application, or more appropriately, the misapplication of Chapter 6 of the Constitution. And you have their faces here from John Waluke, Aisha Jumwa, Mythical Inturi, Samson Sherugay, uh, Chirad Gay, I should say, uh, Babu Owino, uh, John Buri, Wavinian Deity. We have all this Rigadi you here as well, Aduma Awar, Oscar Sudi, James Gakuya, Ayub Savula, Mike Sonko. A uh, Wiper Party has just given him the ticket for uh, the gubernatorial in Mombasa, Alfred Ketel, uh, as well, at the end of the day. What do you make of this particular development? It says IBC says it has its hands are tied by legal precedents in the Kenyatta route of ICC case at the end of the day. Do you think all these people who are displayed here, they're being witch hunted by the government? Well, uh, thank you very much. To start with, let me tell my friend, senior counsel, we don't live in prayer. We live by the law of God. When you go before God, you don't go empty-handed because God has given you everything. Yeah? The Bible says, yeah, seed time. Yeah? <laughs> it's, a, it's an ongoing thing. And uh, don't, don't belittle these issues of church. I know you and your party leader have serious problems about giving offering and tithe to the church. We are aware the spouse to your party leader has threatened that if they take over, they will close what they cost more churches. Uh, let, let us uh, be comfortable to let people do what they want to do in church. Those who want to give offering, let them give. Those who want to tithe, let them do it. Those who don't want, let them stay. Uh, it is not right for people to criticize what people do when they go to church because uh, it is you are you make peace with your god in a way you know how and the bible is is is, is, is clear uh, about uh, seed time it is clear uh we were here morning president moike Baki. president moike Baki left us a beautiful country he turned this country round he allowed democracy to thrive never did he use the criminal justice system to manage politics? <coughs> my, pres my friend, President Uhuru Kenyatta, when he um, sat down to plan the handshake, 
he did it on the premise that the people of the Mount Kenya region will do as he says. And he was saying that with his 8 million votes, and Raila 6 million votes is a total of 14, they don't need anybody else. Mm -hmm. That is how Kalonzo was put aside. That is how we became irrelevant. That is how he decided that elected leaders should not say anything in his government. Because with his votes, and those of Raila Odinga, he could do whatever he wanted. When people resisted the handshake and the dictatorial manner in which President Uhuru Kenyatta was forcing the handshake, instead of President Uhuru Kenyatta looking for the people who had a different opinion and sitting them down and reasoning with them as to why he came up with the handshake, he started threatening people and he started using the criminal justice system to harass those who are not agreeing with him. I was a victim because in the president's reasoning, since I was his PA for many years mm -hmm. and I was his supporter, I was his slave, and I was not meant to disagree with anything he says. I want to say it here today on record. I was called myself by one of his advisors by the name Nancy Gitao. And she told me in black and white, I have to do what the president wants. I have to support the handshake and I have to forget about William Ruto. And if I don't, I'll face the music. And I say, no, I am prepared. And from there, things started coming. As she had uh, so threatened you me. Call. You yeah, no, called. she called me. She, she called, called him. Yeah, mm -hmm. in person. And after that, and, uh, they went and froze my accounts on uh, claims that, uh, you know, there was suspicion that what I owned could be process of crime. And when the accounts were frozen, she called me again and told me I go and kneel before President Uhuru Kenyatta for the accounts to be unfrozen. And I told her I cannot kneel before man. I cannot kneel it before God. And that was it. From there, every Friday... So those were the actual words, go yeah, and kneel. Yeah, yeah. Go and kneel. Yeah, go. You know where your problems are coming from. Go and talk to him. He's your friend. You have been together for a long time. Go and see him. I said, I will not. And from there, the bar. Every Friday I was arrested for close to one and a half years. Write this statement, write that. My friends were harassed, my business partners were harassed, and they were all told to tell Gashagwa to toe the line, and all these things will come to an end. And I was under a lot of pressure from my business partners, from family, from friends, because the state was applying pressure on them to apply pressure on me. And I said, no, I will not succumb. Finally, uh, what happened is that for one and a half years, every Friday, I was being arrested, I was being questioned. It was very traumatic. Finally, what happened is that uh, we went for a by-election in Kiamba. In Kiamba is a place I served as a district officer for five years, and I have very good contacts. And when I went there, I came there to campaign for UDA. M myself and my colleagues, Kimani Chungwa, Ndidi Nyoro, uh, Jane Kihara, and George Karioki, we turned the ground. And I was called again, I was told, my friend, you are too much now, you must get out of Kiamba. And if you don't get out of Kiamba, you will see. The president must win this seat. He cannot take the embarrassment that took place in Georgia, where the family owns a lot of property. This is too much. The president has in laws in Kiamba. You must get out of Kiamba. And if you don't, this time, we are going to deal with you. I said I will not get out of Kiamba. We campaigned in Kiamba and won. We won the elections was on a Thursday. On Friday, the winner was announced. I was called again on Friday evening. I was told now, next Friday, you'll be arrested and locked up for three days. I said, it's okay. And that's exactly what happened. So and when the fellows, on Friday, you were yeah, arrested? Yeah, okay. I was arrested on a Friday. In fact, what I decided, I decided to, because I don't know what these people are up to, and they could uh, arrest me and kill me on the way, let me go and they die in my home in Nyeri. I drove all the way to Nyeri on Thursday evening, and the DCI fellows, they told me, we can see you in Nyeri, we are coming in the morning. They came about seven the fellows, and they told me, we have nothing against you. Why don't you go and talk to your friend, the president? We have nothing, but we are under pressure. You have embarrassed the president in Kiamba. You have embarrassed the government. So they took me and So the DCI me. told you that? The DCI. They have nothing against yeah, they you. They told me, and they arrested me and locked me up for three days and then took me to court and put some fraud, uh, fraudulent charges, you know. And uh, one year down the line, 
The yes. guys have nothing against me. Okay. They applied in court that the case should be heard after a year. You know, because they are still trying to figure out what they can do. You know, what I want to say is that the law is very clear. The constitution is very clear. The presumption of innocence until proved guilty. The case of Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto, they had been taken to the Hague on uh, trumped up charges. Had we denied them a chance, President Uhuru Kenyatta today will not be the president of Kenya. In due time, that he was vindicted. So what is happening here is that uh, if we were to say we come up with a way people who have been charged are denied leadership, a rogue government like the one we are having would prefer charges against anybody they don't like, and they would use that as a way to disqualify you. What must happen is that, and the constitution is very clear, until you are convicted and you have exhausted all the avenues of appeal, your right to seek for political office is protected by the constitution. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to tell you, Diba, and uh, most of these things will be very embarrassing. In President Uhuru Kenyatta, when he's in retirement, he'll be an embarrassment. All these charges he has preferred against his adversaries will be dropped because they have no substance. And I don't know how he'll feel in his retirement Take when it. he sees that the uh, cases he has ordered mm -hmm. for people to be charged so that they can talk political line are going nowhere. I, I want to ask you, Deba, if you look at all the high-profile cases that were done by this year, George Kenoti, none has taken off. None has taken off because they were all political. It was meant to make a point. Yet, where money has been stolen, I saw one of the COVID thieves in Kajiado yesterday saying that uh, Raira will, f will deal with corruption. That man himself, before who came to power, was bankrupt. He could not even afford cigarettes. He used to smoke cigarettes called Rooster. Today he's a billionaire. And he's talking about, uh, he's talking about uh, at corruption. Okay. And these people of Kemsa, yeah, the, bar, the people who have stolen under the watch of Uhuru Kenyatta, his friends, his family, yeah, nobody has arrested them. Right. Well, let's yet, leave it that. Thank yet, you. Thank you. Yet, thank you. I want to clarify this matter because this, this matter, this matter, yes, this no, matter no, no, just a moment. this child, let me tell you, no, no, let me just finish. Martin, because yes. what I want to tell you is, of course, this is just a big matter that we cannot actually deal with it right now. Yeah. We need to dedicate even the next show maybe on this particular matter. Yes. Because we have all these challenges of uh, the law. Yeah. And I think also, Tinder, you've been instrumental uh, you know, in coming up with this particular constitution. Yes. So how does it really fly against what is in the constitution at the end of the day? Because I need, the, the, I, I just needed to, you to clarify that. The constitution, so that because we are pinched the time. constitution no, 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 is no, no, a supreme law of the land. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Can we dedicate the next show? We try and look at the no, It's also important that I clarify something. You say I've been, you have mentioned me as a person, and I think I have a right to clarify to the people of Kenya. These charges were meant to intimidate me, to coerce me, to agree to the handshake and project as Mio, and I refused. On the second front, they were meant to stifle yeah, my rise in politics. But let me tell you, the reverse is what has happened. Thank you. By intimidating me, by persecuting me, the people where I come from saw me as a hero of their liberation. Thank you. Thank and you. they embraced me and uh, raised my you, uh, political profile yes, thank to, you, to thank a very you. high level. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, let me just to uh, give you that particular moment to have a rebuttal also next week. Otene, let's agree as a panel here. Yes. Next week we deal with this matter in okay. light of law, uh, uh, what it really stands. And all these faces that we have here uh, on the front page of, of the Daily Nation as well, are they also just uh, politically, you know, targeted? Is it a uh, witch hunt at the end of the day? So, um, stop for time, but I'll give you 10, 10 seconds, each of you, 10 seconds. No, Why not? But, uh, ten, uh, no, 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 no. Just no, I'm being be hounded out of studio. Just, just something. You, you just spoke, and the guy just spoke, so you I'll, can't I'll, speak again. Me and the man who must take the deal. Okay, let's, okay, let's, let's, no, no, let's, no, 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 okay, let's, then I'll do. In two seconds, I'll say. Just a moment. No, 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 two seconds. Let's just agree. No, 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 no. Zero seconds. No, 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 no. Let's just agree, because we're finished for time. We wind up the show. No, no, we wind up the show. Next week. Next week we we'll do this. But we will not say our closing remarks. Issue. Let's closing okay. remarks. Okay. Okay. Closing remarks, right? In 10 seconds. Okay. First, of all, yeah. first of all, it is notable that of 18 faces on the front page, we are as a meal own only three. The rest belong to the other side. <laughs> oh, and the things of our brother, regarding is saying, he's mentioning people who are not here to clarify all those things. All I can say is that for Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, the word leadership, and the word integrity cannot exist in the same second, uh, sentence. Thank you. Two, and lastly, is this. 
that uh, it is important, and this Cheruot said, it is important to understand that we in Azimio are guided by the law. The coalition political parties are guided by the law under the act. What they are calling an alliance does not exist in law. So let Kenyans know that whatever they are purporting to have agreed on will depend on William Samuel Ruto, not on the law. But for us, it depends on the law. Thank you. And lastly, uh, no, no, no. You said let us no, judge. No, 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 Let us no, judge. No, I have, I have to but No, no. Let, let's yes, hear from uh, uh, let me, Dan let me, Mazo. Yes, let me. I've seen the Honourable Wavinya <laughs> Ndeti there, who is a member of my party, and uh, the Honourable Mike yes. Bubisongo. And I want to say that uh, Mike Bubisongo is very useful uh, to us in the Oka coalition in terms of mobilising votes, and is now running for governor in Mombasa. I know he has re received some resistance there. His court charges, I'm one of his lawyers, and I can assure you all the court charges were pot politically trumped up, and uh, someday they will end. But now they are finding him very useful in Azimio Oka. Okay. Useful in Azimio Oka. <laughs> Aaron Chiriot, the thing I want to tell seconds. you, the thing I want to tell you is that there's a very important issue which we didn't discuss, and I hope maybe next week we get a chance, yes. it may have been passed by time. Is it There's a standoff between IBC and political parties because of this issue of uh, two-thirds yes. Uh, yes. gender quota. It's something which many political parties are saying is not practical, and I, I, I hope next week... It's not even legal. Uh, That's what I was saying. Yeah. Next week we, we can clarify from the Be law. Because, uh, as it is, they have given a deadline of 12th. 12th is, uh, I think, on... Uh, uh, on Thursday next Thurs week. No, Thursday this week. Thursday, actually, yes. this week. So I don't see any political... Unless, and for I example... Yeah. I agree with you. We're winding up. No, when, 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 I am just agreeing with that. No, with this, he's giving his party <laughs> Don't agree. Uh, okay, are you, are you done? You got, no, you I, had to say, I had to say that uh, that would be an interesting one to watch. Remember remember Maraga's joker before he left office. He said that parliament is... Uh, he, he actually sent a petition to the president to dissolve, to dissolve the parliament. Uh, parliament. If we are not careful and this standoff is not resolved, chances are we could go to elections, you Thank win. You. But then you find that you are not able to be sworn. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rigato. Thank you, Diva. Th 30 seconds. I, I want to say I will not be here next Tuesday. Oh, you will not I'll, be here I'll, next I'll Tuesday. I have a barrier for my mm. stepbrother, uh, who I lost and will be buried next Tuesday. But I want to tell you, by the time I come the other Tuesday, we will have come. So you give us a liberty to discuss this particular uh, session next week without yeah, yeah. you. But yeah. no, okay. how can you discuss without Rigati? <laughs> and he's the, he's the main actor in this one. <laughs> That means let day. us postpone that discussion. Okay, we'll let's <laughs> answer enough. <laughs> yes, we'll have the other but agenda next week. Point thank, uh, no, 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 we are winding up. We are winding up. We are winding up. Thank you, thank you very much all, for your valid company. I really do appreciate our panelists. Uh, I need to come out of this uh, as well. Thank you. You've been watching Siasa Fiesa. Don't go away. Much more uh, coming up on the Morning Prime with Jesse Rogers.